In this video, we will be discussing about how to find out a discharge over a rectangular notch or a wear. Oh, what is a notch? Notch is a device used to measure the rate of flow of fluid through a small channel or a tank. How it is been constructed here is it has an opening here that means the fluid is flowing from this side and this height on which the fluid is collected that is called as the crust height and this point is the crust above this what is the head over the notch we will be measuring that as h now the notch may be defined as an opening in a side of a tank or a small channel in such a way that the liquid surface in the tank or channel is below the top edge of the opening now we shall find out how to find out a discharge over a rectangular notch now for this we have considered head over notch as this one this, that means this height is nothing but the capital H and L is nothing but the length of notch or a wear here now consider an element of an horizontal strip that is of thickness dh and length l now what will the area of strip area of strip is nothing but base into height here base is nothing but l and we have considered only the small elemental strip dh that is nothing but the height dh here so the theoretical velocity of water that means v th is given by root of 2g into h this is nothing but the theoretical velocity of water through the strip right now what will the actual discharge of the strip actual discharge dq is the actual discharge through the through strip that means dq is what cd into cd into area of strip into theoretical velocity right this we have already discussed in the previous videos there lecture videos there that is nothing but cd into area is area of the strip is l into dh into theoretical velocity is root of 2g h call this as equation number 1 now what is cd here cd is nothing but the coefficient of discharge coefficient of discharge now how to find the total discharge q to find out the total discharge q that is for a whole notch or a wear it is done by integrating integrating the equation 1 equation 1 between the limits between limits limits 0 and h right that means between these limits 0 and h that means from this is the 0 point and the height h point between the limits we need to integrate the equation 1 on integrating equation 1 integration of q is equals to integration of 0 to h cd into l into root 2 g h into dh right what i have done i have taken this equation dq this equation and i have been integrating between the limits 0 and h here 
the integration of dq becomes q here and this integration between the limits for a height h here it is between the limits 0 and h for the height, uh, height h here that means this becomes cd into l into root 2g into integration of 0 to h that is h raised to half into dh what i have done i have taken all the constants outside the limit here now what is the integration of h raised to half that means cd into l into root 2g into h raised to half plus 1 it means x raised to n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 integration of x raised to n is x raised to n plus 1 into n plus 1 right that is it between the limits 0 and h now when i do the further calculation root 2 g into this becomes h raised to 3 by 2 whole divided by 3 by 2 here that is 0 to h now when i apply the limits q becomes cd into this 3 by 2 i'll write it as 2 by 3 here 2 by 3 into cd into l into root 2g into h raised to 3 by 2 this is the formula to find out discharge over a rectangular notch or wear. Thank you.